Hello, I am Teacher Mari Chu and welcome to our Modular Distance Learning on General Mathematics Quarter 1, Week 3, A. The objective of this module is for the learners and for us to determine the intercepts and the zeros of rational function. Let's get started! Let's start with the generalizations. What is an intercept of a function? An intercept of a rational function is a point where the graph of the rational function intersects either the x-axis, this one in this graph, or the y-axis. x-intercept is equal to the value of x which make the function equal to zero or at that point the function touches the x-axis that is what we call the x-intercept it is also referred to as the zeros or the zero of the function or the root of the function so take note the zeros the root or the x-intercepts are used interchangeably for the y-intercept, the value of the function f of x when x is equal to 0. The y-intercept indicates that the graph of the function crosses or touches the y-axis. So this is for the x and the y-intercepts. And we have to discuss the following rational function's properties. To find the x-intercept or the zero or the root of the function, we have to find the values of x where the numerator will be zero. In other words, we have to set the numerator equal to zero and solve for x. Finding the y-intercept, that means we have to evaluate f of zero or meaning the value of x equals zero at, or the function value of x equals zero. Finding the x-intercepts or zeros of the function, we have example 1. Let me just illustrate that by inspection alone. In this example 1, f of x equals x minus 4 all over x plus 4. Just set this numerator equal to 0 and solve for x. In this case, we can, we can right away do it mentally. x minus 4 equals 0, then x equals 4. That is the in x-intercept or the zero of the function. For example, two, we have to find still the x-intercepts. x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x plus 3. By inspection again, set the numerator equal to zero. And in this case, it's a quadratic function or a quadratic expression Then we have to factor out. And you know the factors of this. Okay, so let's move on to exercise 1. We have 5 numbers to solve. Let's solve first number 1. It says here, all right, before that, let's read the direction. The direction is important in solving or in taking any tests. The direction of this exercise 1, you have to find the x-intercepts or zeros of the following. And you have to show your process in your answer sheet not in the module and not in your not i mean in the answer sheet so f of x equals x minus 5 all over 4x set x equals minus 5 equals 0 and solve for x hence x equals 5 is the x intercept for number two we have f of x equals 2 over x plus 1. Since the numerator is a constant function, then we can say that there is no x-intercept. Meaning, this function or the graph of this function 2 over x plus 1 will not touch the x-axis. Since the numerator is constant. Moving on to number 3 f of x equals 5x minus 3 all over x plus 3. Solution. Well, set the numerator 5x minus 3 equals 0 and solve for x. Thus, the x-intercept is 3 fifths. For number 4, 
Let me show you the original module. f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 8 all over x minus 5. In this case, we set the numerator to 0 and we have quadratic function here. So we have to factor out the function x, I mean, yes, the, the function x squared plus 6x plus 8. The factors are x plus 2 and x plus 4 and equate it to 0. Solving for x, we found the x-intercepts of the function to be negative 2 and negative 4. For number 5, f of x equals x minus 1 all over x cubed minus 4x. By inspection, calculating it mentally, we found that the x-intercept or the zero or the root of the numerator is x equals 1. Moving on to another topic on finding the y-intercepts of rational functions. Well, in finding this, we just have to set x equals 0 and solve for the value of y. Let's consider this example 1. x minus 4 all over x plus 4. Evaluate f of 0. Then we can say here that f of 0 is negative 1. Therefore, the y-intercept is negative 1. So it's easy to evaluate the y-intercept. Same is true with example 2. And let's move on to exercise number 2. Direction. Find the y-intercepts of the following function. So for number 1, f of x is equal to x minus 5 all over 4x. Just simply substitute 0, 0, 0 and solve for the values. Let's see the solution. Okay, so we have f of 0 equals 0 minus 5 all over 4 times 0. In this case, we cannot equal it to undefined. We just have this, this, the consequence of this expression or equation is undefined. So hence, there is no y-intercept. So meaning this kind of function will not touch the y-axis. Okay, let's move on to number 2. f of x equals 2 over x plus 1. Solving for f of 0, we have f of 0 equals 2 all over 0 plus 1 or 2. Hence, the y-intercept is 2. This means that the graph of the function will touch the y-axis at y equals 2. Or simply, the point is 0, 2. Okay, moving on to number 3 f of x equals 5x minus 3 all over x plus 3. Then we have f of 0 is 5 times 0 minus 3 all over 0 plus 3. That's negative 3 over 3 or negative 1. So the y-intercept is negative 1. That means the function will touch, the graph of the function will touch at the point 0, negative 1. For number 4, we have f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 8 all over x minus 5. This will become 0, 0, and 0. So negative 8 fifths. So let me show the solution. Okay. So substitute x equals 0. That is f of 0. And then we have x or what f of 0 is or simply y equals negative 8 over 5. So, the y-intercept is negative 8 fifths. For number 5, the last, f of x equals x minus 1 all over x cubed minus 4x. Solution, well, we will have here um, a constant numerator with a zero denominator when substitute 
accepting the value of x for 0, then we have an undefined. So we can say that this or the graph of this function will not touch the y-axis. Hence, if it will never touch the y-axis, then there is no point of discussing the y-intercept. <laughs> so meaning this function has no y-intercept. I leave you the enrichment activity for your own personal enrichment. Okay, so this is all for now. And this is Teacher Marichu again saying always stay happy and healthy and God bless us. Thank you.